Hi, hi, and welcome, welcome back to About Craft. So today is gonna be Slay or Walay Day, meaning I'm gonna test out a makeup product. However, today's case is a little bit different because I'm going to test out two makeup products, specifically two foundations. I'm talking about the Dream Satin Skin Foundation and the Dream Velvet Foundation, both from Maybelline. Now, I've been hearing a lot of positive things for this too. Some people consider Dream Satin Skin as their favorite foundation, while some consider Dream Velvet naman as Holy Grail worthy. Thus making me confused and making me want to try both of them so I can finally decide which one is better for my oily combination skin. Alright, let's now compare them by price. Both of them regularly retails for 499 pesos. However guys, I'm very lucky because I got both of them on sale. I got the Dream Satin Skin for 349 pesos na lang and the Dream Velvet for 249 pesos. Now let's compare the packagings since they share the same amount of price when sold regularly I would have to say that the packaging for the Dream Satin Skin is better for me. I actually prefer glass containers when it comes to foundations because I don't know, I guess I like it hard and heavy. <laughs> and I also like the fact that they added a pump for a more precise and hygienic dispensing method. The packaging for the Dream Velvet, however, is not that bad either. This is very, very convenient and handy, especially for traveling. However, like I said kanina, mas gusto ko to kasi mas social yung dating. Let's move on to the claims. So the Dream Satin Skin claims to be an air-whipped liquid foundation, thus providing you with poreless, satin smooth looking skin. The Dream Velvet Skin on the other hand naman is the first gel whipped foundation that supposedly would leave you with a perfect smooth soft matte finish. So ayun, una pa lang, they both claim to have different finishes. I'm guessing mas smooth yung dating or parang dewy yung magiging finish nitong Dream Satin Skin sa ating face. However, soft matte naman daw itong si Dream Velvet Foundation. Pareho sila sa dalawang claims na they won't plug your pores and they will keep you moisturized or hydrated all day long. Alright, moving on to the application. I'm going to use the Dream Satin Skin on the left side of my face or on the right side of your screens. Tapos, on the upper part of my left part, I'm going to blend the foundation with a damp sponge. And on the lower region naman, I'm going to use a buffing brush. That way, we could see if there is any difference with the foundation if we use different makeup tools. On the right side of my face naman or on the left side of your screen, I'm going to use the Dream Velvet Foundation. Again, using the damp sponge to blend it on the top part and I'm going to use the buffing brush on the lower region. Alright, let us proceed. I'm gonna start off with the left side which is the Dream Satin Skin side. By the way, the shade that I got for this one is the 01. Ooh. So as you can see guys, it is very very runny, it is liquidy, and yung nakuha kong shade na 01 isn't really yellow undertone, more like neutral, but I think it matches my skin. So I'll just use a small amount muna, and I'm gonna use a damp sponge on the upper half of the left side of my face. So, ease of application, it is very very easy to blend. However, the coverage is very very sheer or maybe my damp sponge is absorbing it but let's see maybe we can build it up into a medium to full coverage this one i would have to say sheer to medium coverage lang yung masusuplay niya by using a damp sponge now guys i'm gonna proceed on applying the dream satin skin foundation on the lower region of the left side of my face it has a little bit of scent but on a scale of 1 to 10, it's just 0 0.5. So I'm gonna buff it in. Oh, okay. Nice. So, so far, I'm already liking how it looks when using a brush. It provides me with so much more coverage and confidence. <laughs> I love it. I think using a brush is so much better because it definitely won't compensate the coverage that you're gonna get. Now that we know that using a buffing brush is the way to go for this foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the upper half so that I could get equal amounts of coverage. As you can see, the finish 
looks good. It doesn't settle on my lines. It doesn't settle on my pores. It is very, very buildable. Even if you build it up, it's not gonna feel uncomfortable at all. Maybe there is a slight tackiness, but on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe 2. And you can control your application if you're more into the sheer natural coverage. I suggest you use a damp sponge. However, if you're like me and you want coverage, I suggest you use a buffing brush. By the way, guys, I also have some dry parts or dry patches around this area but I think it moisturized it and it eliminated the look of it yeah it looks good it feels good and I think this is a very very good foundation for beginners because like I said you can build it up you can control your application you don't need any blending skills in order to make this look perfect on your skin all right so now let's move on to the dream velvet foundation also by Maybelline I'm guessing this is kind of like a cream-based foundation. By the way, the shade that I got for this is the number 60, Sandy Beige. And it kind of shares the same color with this one. Both of them have neutral light tone. I'm going to choose the parts in which it's still clean so we don't mix the foundations. And whoa! So this one is coverage galore, honey. That's what I like. So with the Dream Velvet Foundation, even though I'm blending it with a blending sponge that tends to absorb the product, I'm still getting a decent amount of coverage. This one doesn't feel any tackiness and it's also very very lightweight on my skin. I am already contented with the coverage that I got. However, let's take a look if we can build it up still. And in fact, we can. I was able to build it up without it looking cakey. So there you go. Now I'm gonna dispense some more. And I'm gonna be blending it once again with the buffing brush that we used earlier. Okay, so I'm noticing something weird but not necessarily a bad thing about this Dream Velvet foundation. It has a cooling effect and I actually like it. Especially with our climate here in the Philippines, it is always hot even though it's raining. So I think that is a nice touch. Alright, let's talk about their differences so far. Regarding the coverage for the Dream Satin Skin Foundation, it can vary depending on the makeup tool that you use. However, when I use the Dream Velvet foundation, when using a damp sponge, I already got a good medium coverage here and down here when I use the buffing brush I received a full coverage effect now regarding on how it feels this one is a little bit tacky like I said earlier 2 over 10 when it comes to tackiness this one doesn't feel any tackiness at all I feel like if I don't set this with powder I'm gonna be fine with it both of them settles really really good and even my dry patches around this area they didn't emphasize it at all however upon application of the dream satin skin it looks very very flawless but after waiting for some time I can already see some of the product settling on my fine lines here and there but that's alright, I think I just build it up too much on this area. That's why I'm getting a little bit cakey up here, but it doesn't bother me that much. But anyway, I'm liking both of them so far. Also guys, I forgot to mention that I didn't use any primer prior to using both foundations. And now I'm gonna proceed in setting the whole face using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. So definitely after setting it with powder, the tackiness on this side is gone. And also, the settling on my fine lines and wrinkles are slowly going away when we set it with powder. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna go out of the camera for a little while because I'm gonna finish applying my makeup. And then I'm gonna go right back to update you if there has been any changes. Hi hi guys, so I'm back and this is my makeup look for today. Very simple makeup for a very simple day. Now guys, going back again to the the foundations I forgot to mention Kinina how it looks like upon application like the finish and all so the dream satin foundation on the left side of my face has a little bit of a more dewy look but not extremely dewy it just has a subtle glare however the dream velvet foundation is extremely matte I don't think this is soft matte at all and I also didn't wear any concealer so that they won't get mixed up with the foundation however even though I'm not wearing any concealer the coverage is still there. I still look 
snatched. And yes, so far so good. I like how both foundations look. I like how they both feel. They settled on my skin nicely and didn't or haven't oxidized yet. That's one of the things that we're going to watch over time. Right now, it is 1.21 in the afternoon. I have some errands to do, some places to be. And later on, I will update you guys on the changes that might and will happen on my face. Hi, hi guys. So I am back and currently it is already 8.03 in the evening. So that is more or less 7 hours since I last applied two Maybelline foundations on my face. And here is how they look like. Not bad, diba? Or actually, both sides look really good. However, guys, of course, I'm not gonna deny the fact that my face became shinier compared to the first time we applied the foundation. But still, knowing my skin and how much I oil up on a normal day, this is still tolerable. And of course, like I said kanina, 7 hours na yung nakalipas. And in the span of that 7 hours, I didn't pat my face with any tissue, with any powder. Plus, I went to the city hall and got exposed to traffic, pollution, sweat and heat and hindi ko gets on how it still managed to look good. I swear guys, one of the skin problems that I have these days are my pores. They are just so open lately. I guess it's because of the heat. But with both of the foundations on, they managed to conceal the ugly look of my pores. As in, kahit na init na init na ako kanina, every time I look at my face to check the foundations, I immediately feel satisfied kasi ang ganda talaga ng finish nila sa face. Both foundations gave me the natural look without compensating coverage on areas that needed to be covered. I think it's time to blot. I'm gonna use one for each side so we could compare the oil control for both foundations. So let's start muna on the left side of my face, which is the Maybelline Dream Satin Skin. Right off the bat, I could already see there is a lot of transfer on the blotting paper. There you can see the foundations transferring through. But right after I blotted the oils, it looked great once again. I mean, okay na siya with the oils kanina, pero once we blotted, fresh na fresh ulit siya. Now I'm gonna move on in blotting where we apply the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. Marami rin siyang transfer. So take note of that, both foundations have the tendency to transfer. However guys, isa lang ang panalo sa kanila when it comes to oil control. And it is very very clear that the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation has much more of oil control compared to this one. And I could feel that because earlier, mas shiny talaga yung side na to. And I could see na I have oils on this area. But here on the Dream Velvet side, I only have oils on my nose which is very very normal. And I'm not oiling up on other areas. But yep, both sides naman after we blot the oils looked fresh once again. Okay guys, now I'm going to move on to stating the pros and cons that I could see for both foundations. Let's start off with the Maybelline Dream Satin Skin, which I applied here on the left side of my face. Pro number one is the ease of application. This one is very, very easy to apply and to blend. Pro number two, you can kind of control the coverage. At first application, it can come off as sheer, but you can definitely build it up into a medium. Pro number three, I love how long wearing it is. In a span of seven hours, nandito pa rin siya. My blush is still here along with my bronzer and everything so the foundation didn't move plus I love how it sets on my pores and then lastly pro number four this one is very very lightweight and I love that actually guys I'm kind of shocked that this worked for me because originally I think yung target people talaga ng product na ito are the ones who have dry to normal skin types now for the consequences number one the oil control is good but not excellent it was able to make me look fresh but not for a really really long time. Consequence number two, it doesn't have any SPF and that is very very important for me because I find it hassle to find another product with SPF like a powder or a setting spray to layer my foundation on just to have the sunscreen. Consequence number three is it kind of oxidizes on my skin but not that much, just a little bit. And then the last consequence is it transfers. Now let's move on to the Dream Velvet Foundation. Na nilagay natin on the right side of my face. Pro number one, it is also very very easy to apply. Number two, it is surprisingly lightweight. Kasi medyo creamy yung kanyang texture. But still, it is super duper lightweight. It never kicked up on me. Number three, my favorite thing about this one is the coverage. I love 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 it. One thin layer palang 
it already achieved a medium coverage. Plus, it is a buildable, so you can definitely go full coverage with this one. Number four, ang ganda ng finish niya. It doesn't just hide your pores, but even your skin texture. I have a lot of texture here, and it managed to hide it. Tapos long wearing pa yung effect niya na yon. Pro number five, much better yung kanyang oil control compared to the Dream Satin Skin Foundation. And then, for the consequences for this one, once again, wala siyang SPF protection. Tapos, nag oxidize din siya and like the transfer it. So, all in all, guys, both foundations naman are slay for me. Both did really, really good on my problematic combination skin type. But I have to say, I like this more just because of the coverage and the oil control. Pero ayun nga, pareho silang maganda, pareho silang worth it. So there you have it guys for this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and if you do, then please do click the thumbs up button down below. Also subscribe to me kung hindi ka pa nakaka-subscribe sa aking channel. I will see you guys again on my future videos. Mwah!